Hey guys, Madass Tutorials here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Sony Vegas Pro uh, black screen no preview problem. Some people might get this with some file types when they put it into Sony Vegas, it just comes up with no preview or the video doesn't work. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix that. Alright guys, now I'm just going to show you that I have this same problem. So you just want to open up Sony Vegas. Now I'm going to drag this video that I took a couple of minutes ago. I'm just going to drag it into Sony Vegas. So as you can see that the video come the video preview comes up as black. So when I play the video, it's just black and the preview doesn't work. The audio works but the video doesn't. So now I'm going to show you how to fix this. So now you want to close Sony Vegas. Now all this involves in fixing it is just downgrading your QuickTime player. So now uh, to First ground, uh, sorry. To before we downgrade it, we have to uh, uninstall the QuickTime you already have. So if you already have QuickTime installed on your computer, you need to uninstall the one you have, the version you have. So it's going to search for QuickTime. As you can see there. Uninstall. Yes. So you're just going to wait for this to fully uninstall. Alright, so I've just finished uninstalling QuickTime. I just want to close the control panel. Now there's going to be a link in the description of uh, the QuickTime Player version that you have to download. And this version is 7.5.0. So basically just go to the description, then you just want to click uh, Download, uh, Download Quick Player, QuickTime Player 7.5.0. And once it downloads, you just want to install it. So I've already downloaded it to my desktop here. I'm just going to double click on it to install it. Go to next, yes, install. So guys, if you didn't already have QuickTime installed on your computer, you won't have to uninstall it. You just go ahead and go down, go ahead to the download link and uh, download and install the downgraded version. But if you did, you must install the version you had first on your computer. All right, so it's just finished installing. So I'm going to click finish and no thanks alright so now we're going to open up Sony Vegas again and go back to the video on my desktop and drag it back in and as you can see there now it works and that was that was the exact same video before that didn't work so basically guys all you have to do is uninstall or downgrade your quick time so as you can see there, now the video is fully working just like that. But uh, just before we finish, there's one other thing I have to get to. When you downgrade your QuickTime, you'll have to downgrade your iTunes. So as you can see, now that I've down downgraded my QuickTime, whenever I go to iTunes, this um, note pops up. So basically, there'll be a link in the description to um, how to downgrade your iTunes to the version needed, to 9.0.3. So basically, you do the exact same thing uninstall the version you have now, download this version from the link in the description, install it, and then you'll be able to use QuickTime and iTunes on running on the same version so they'll be compatible with each other. So that's how to fix uh, the no preview black screen on Sony Vegas guys. If you have any problems at all, if I didn't explain anything well enough, just leave a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But guys, if this did help, leave a comment so other people know it worked. Please like this video, remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.